this is this is crazy. We shouldn't. <sighs> what were you talking about up there that you had to go away on business? Was that true? Yeah, it's true. How can you do that to me just when I'm in the middle of all this trouble? It's not fair. Do you think it's fair for me to be here to watch the woman that I love marry another man? Oh, baby, this is horrible. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. All right. All right, if, if it's too much for you, if you feel that you can't handle it, then, then just don't. That's all. Don't. Then what's going to happen to you if I tell them I don't want to be their spy? They'll throw me to the wolves, I guess. <laughs> Send over their federal agents to my house within ten minutes. All right, look. Maybe Ian will tell me everything right away. He did promise to tell me everything on our wedding night, so maybe right after the wedding I can get all the answers. The only answer that we need is where that, that list of spies, that phone book is. Once we get that, we'll have all of them off our backs. Yeah, but then I'll be married to him, not you. Just for a little while, <laughs> baby, because then he's going to go to jail, and you are going to marry me. All right, so what, what happens in the meantime? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Valerie Bryson. Do you think, do you think I could fall for her after I've loved you? <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't come to the party alone. Ian is still suspicious of you and me. We've got to keep that in mind. I just brought Valerie along because I wanted him to think that my affections are elsewhere. Just don't get carried away, okay? It sounds like uh, an in, in, in comedy. Why would I call here? I don't know. Let me find out. Maybe you shouldn't answer. Hello? Skyler, it's Geraldine. Well, uh, hello, Geraldine. Just tell me one thing. Is Raven there with you now? Now, why in Skyler, the world would you please ask that? please answer me. Tell me the truth. Because Ian Devereaux is on his way to the train room right now. Uh, now, now, there's no reason for you not to take the coat. I mean, after all, it used to be your coat, uh, even though it was bought with my money by no, Jeff Brown. No, thank you. You wouldn't let me keep anything when I was at the house. Not my furs, not my jewelry, not my dresses, not nothing. So I don't want anything now. I don't care if it is a wedding present. David Raymond wanted to understand I'm not doing this for you. I am doing it for my old friend Ian. I'm no. simply well, trying to... Well, well, well. What's all the racket about? Hello. Oh, Ian, I'm so glad you're here. Will you please tell your friend that I don't want any favors? What kind of favors did you have in mind, Scott? I made the mistake of thinking your fiancé had some degree of understanding. I was wrong. Understanding about what? Your pal over here is trying to give me a fur coat, which is mine in the first place. For someone who has so much money, you sure are cheap. I was simply trying to make a nice gesture, Raven, since there's so much ill feeling between you and I, and you are about to marry my best friend. Well, all right, all right I was right, wrong. All right, you two, that is enough. This is an engagement party. I don't want to see my friends arguing with each other. Well, this argument began quite some time ago when I came back to Monticello and I found her living in my house and spending my money. All those things were given to me and I didn't know they were stolen besides I didn't steal them. Jefferson Brown did. She does have a point, Skye. Oh, 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 yes, and a very good point, too. I'm sure that if she had known the moment money was stolen, she would have given it back instantly. I would have. Except you completely came in and stripped me first. Well, I am attempting now to give it back to you. And don't think that this is your wedding present. It isn't. You'll get your usual set of ugly matched china or a silver plate with... All right, you two, that is enough. I can't have my future wife and my best friend spending the night arguing with each other. Well, thank you very much. At least you understand something, Scott, Ian. It was a wonderful gesture you made, and I appreciate it. But I don't really think she'll be needing the coat. You see... We're going to be returning to the Caribbean. You like it so much, you're uh, going back for more, huh? Yes. And this time we'll be man and wife. And we may not ever come back. It looked like kid stuff to all you laymen, but I assure you it took years and years of experience to develop this skill. And long years of training, too, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh. Hello, Geraldine. You're just in time to catch the next train. <laughs> yes, well, I just thought I'd come in to see that everything is all right in here. Well, everything was just fine until these two lousy train jokes. But anyway, why are you asking? Well, it's simply because 
both of you seem to have vanished during her own engagement party, and has that seemed just a little peculiar? Yes, as proper hosts, we should return to our guests. No, no, I didn't mean that. I'm sure everyone is having a perfectly fine time. Well, in that case, Geraldine, perhaps you can settle a minor quarrel. All right, all right, all right. I'll take the coat. Good. I'll have it delivered to your hotel tomorrow. Well, I am going to be running some errands tomorrow, so maybe I could just come and pick it up. Well, I'm not sure that anybody will be home. <clears throat> Spencer is going to be out all day, and uh, Gunther will be taking me to the airport. You're going on the business trip tomorrow? Yes, I have got a lot of preparation before my meeting, so the sooner the better. How long will you be gone, Skyler? Uh, a week, I suppose, perhaps more. Oh, dear, then you'll miss the wedding. Yeah, I know, that's a damn shame, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. That's why I wanted to get this wedding gift business over with. Oh, that is a pity, old boy. We're both going to miss you. Yeah. Well, i better go check in with Valerie. She must think I deserted her. Excuse me. Maybe I should, too. Are you coming, Ruth? Yeah, I'll be there in a second. I want to have a word with Geraldine. All right. So, Skylar, are you going on this trip alone? Uh, yes. Spencer won't be coming. And you're not taking this person? No. No, I'll be going by myself. mean warning you about Ian Devereux? Yes, what made you think I need a warning? Intuition. Something rather strange going on among you three. And I haven't quite figured it out as yet. Well, thank you, but uh, it really wasn't necessary. But thanks. 